If you look at the founding documents of the ITUC in 2006, very little is said about climate change. We give very little primacy, very little priority to the struggle against, uh, against climate change. Two and a half years ago, the fight against climate change was simply not a top priority for our movement. And yet today, just two and a half years later, it's right at the top of the agenda. I think that is an extraordinary change. Uh, it reflects, I think, the fact that climate change issues have climbed very quickly to the top of the international policy agenda in general. Why is that? I think for two reasons. The first reason, it's very obvious, is that the evidence of the reality of climate change is becoming more and more evident in our daily lives and in the scientific evidence. And secondly, in an equally short space of time, the policy issues and the economics of climate change have matured from a very, very, I would say, rudimentary area of analysis to a very sophisticated area of analysis. We now have access to very detailed, very sophisticated economic models of what it means to do nothing about climate change and what the costs and benefits and means to combat climate change involve. Perhaps the most famous, the most authoritative study of climate change and economics of climate change come from the former chief economist of the World Bank, Nicholas Stern. So all of a sudden, trade unions have become active in the fight against climate change. And let's be very honest, we faced some quite difficult dilemmas as we become involved. It's not a particular cause of pride to me or a contradiction, and a contradiction which they were incapable of resolving between protecting the environment and protecting the jobs of their members. And as things stood in the 1990s, we said, the jobs of our members come first, environmental protection can wait. And what we've done, and I think it's been successful, and I think it's been fundamental, is that we've integrated employment issues, we've integrated workers' issues into the fight against climate change through what we call a process of just transition, just transition to a low carbon future. What does that mean? It means in the first place that the ITUC transition to a low carbon future, a net creator of jobs, a net creator, not a destroyer of jobs. And I think we need to take encouragement from that potentiality. But what I equally think is important is we should not believe that such positive transition will happen automatically. It is not a convenient truth. It's not something that will happen on its own. It's something which trade unions, together with employers and with governments, need to join together to make happen. So just transition to a low carbon economy, a creator of decent work, is what we are fighting for.